everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another tarot deck unboxing. And this one I am so excited for because I have been waiting for this particular deck for so long. Um, this is the Golden Girls Tarot and this is just, ah, I'm so excited. So hopefully it doesn't let me down. This uh, retails for $19.95 and this is published by Smith Street Gift. And I know that there is an author for this and I will link the name in the description box below uh, because at the moment I cannot remember um, the uh, author slash artist's name. But it says featuring TV's Dorothy, Rose, Blanche, and Sophia, these brilliantly illustrated cards are a bold look into your future. Do you have existential questions about your personal universe? Do you have a penchant for pastel patterns from the 1980s Miami? And above all, are you obsessed with the Golden Girls? If you answered yes to any of these questions, this deck of tarot cards will provide mystical insights into your destiny. So this is not associated with the TV series or the producers, and I am in love with the packaging. It's so bright, it's so fun, and let's get into it. So it's a flip top, and okay. Let's grab my trusty scissors here and not ruin the cards. This is very similar to the RuPaul deck that I just reviewed, the packaging. So hopefully they're a lot, um, the quality is a little bit better here, let's see. So this is Look Into Your Future from, from the Lanai. It's based on the Rider Waite design. So then it tells you how to do it, but it's not a guide. So there's no um, meanings or anything on the guidebook or on the <laughs> little sheet of paper. Okay, let's get into it. Here's the back, so fun. I love the vibrant colors. I love the plant leaves. And oh my goodness, how cute. Ugh. Okay, so they are really thin. They are really thin. So like the RuPaul um, cards, they are pretty, pretty thin. I'm interested to see how they uh, shuffle. Oh my gosh. I'm loving these already though, because there is a scene, it makes sense. You can use your intuition. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys know, but I absolutely adore this show. I love every single episode. It's just so great. Um, we even have the Golden Girls Clue board game. So yeah, it's, it's bad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, this might just become my new favorite deck. Love it. Oh my goodness. The colors, the illustrations, everything is so much fun. I love that it's very um, close to the traditional tarot. Very cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is great. Ah, uh, the cheesecake. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, <laughs> shady pines. Oh my gosh. This is wonderful. I am over the moon. Oh, <laughs> moon. This is, this is fantastic. I'm a little uh, disappointed with the thickness of the cardstock, but the art, I feel, kind of makes up for it because it's just genius. They feel really good sliding um, through the hands. Oh my gosh, I'm just loving these. Ah, ah, ah. Perfect. Ah. Okay, hopefully I'm not being too annoying, but I'm just super excited. I've been waiting for this for too long. So um, I'm overjoyed with the fact that it is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> a 
love it. Of course she would be the queen of wands. I love it. All right, pentacles. So we've got Blanche. How fun. Guys, I want to know if you own this, if this is something that you've been waiting for like I have. What do you think about this deck? Are you a Golden Girls fan? Because this is everything right now. Oh my gosh. So this could definitely come across as a novelty, just like the RuPaul uh, deck did, at least for me. But I feel like even as a beginner, you can definitely use this right off the bat. Again, there's no guidebook, so you don't really get um, the meanings of the card. If you're a beginner, it's going to be a little bit more difficult, but you can use the image to your advantage for not knowing what the card means. Like the RuPaul deck, you can't really use the image to figure out what the meaning of the card is. So this is a lot better. It's a lot easier to understand. It is definitely going along with the Rider Waite deck. Rider Waite Smith, I should say. Um, but if this is a deck and you're a beginner, I highly suggest getting yourself a wonderful tarot book, uh, like a guidebook, a tarot, uh, all about tarot meanings, all about the tarot itself. You can purchase them in many, many places and it'll help you with the meanings of any deck really. So, um, I highly, highly suggest getting one of those if you're going to be purchasing this deck because it'll help you out immensely. You can find a lot on Amazon. You can find a lot from Llewellyn Publishers. Um, what her name is uh, getting out of my head right now. Let me think about what her name is. And Liz Dean. Liz Dean, the author, she writes a lot of tarot meaning books. So look her up if you are interested in finding um, a guidebook for all your tarot needs. <laughs> These are adorable. Oh my goodness. I love that each of the decks, or excuse me, the suits are very fitting to the characters. I am loving this so much. <sighs> I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy. Oh my gosh, look at the little stand up in the corner. Oh, oh, this is bringing me all sorts of good fun. I love it. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. Oh my goodness. And that's the last card. Okay, let's get into the shuffling and see how they do. If I can get them in my hands. Yeah, they shuffle just fine. However, they are thin, so they don't really have that, um, they don't snap back to their, uh, their straight flat state very easily um, because they are so thin. So that might be a problem for some of you. Oop. Apparently I can't shuffle well today. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. They will probably wear a lot quicker than your normal decks would from like Llewellyn or Low Scarabio, just because they are a, um, a thinner quality. But I don't mind that kind of a thing. I, I think it gives it character, your deck character. Super cute, oh my gosh. I'm so happy with these. I don't know if you can tell, I mean, not at all. <laughs> But yes, so as far as the price tag goes, the $19.95, you are paying for the Golden Girls. You aren't paying for the packaging, but you are paying for the art and the name and the likeness. However, 
in this instance, if we take a look at what we're getting, even the size is different. You're getting a bigger deck than you are the RuPaul's. They're, they're very similar in the fact that they each have the um, little card telling you how to, to use it. But if you look at the picture, there's not much to really go on here for your intuition or to figure out the meaning, but there is here. This fits more of the traditional Rider Waite Smith deck imagery than this does. And actually, I feel like this might feel a little bit thinner than this one. I could be wrong and there's no way that I could really tell you for sure. But for the same price, these are legit the same price. It's a smaller card and you have less going on in the imagery. So my opinion is you're getting more for the same price. Um, however, I still think 1995 is a little high for this particular type of deck, but I realize that you are paying for the use of the, um, the name and the characters. So that makes sense to me. However, I, I would prefer, uh, I would, I would see it to be reasonable to be around $15. Just my opinion, but you know, it would be great to have a little, you know, miniature guidebook in there, just a couple words, just for the people who are stepping out of their comfort, comfort zone and purchasing this as their first tarot deck. It would be fantastic to have a little, um, a little something. I'm not saying you have to go out and buy a, or make a big bound book and put it in there. I'm just saying a little booklet brochure type thing with a couple meanings would be fantastic for the price. It literally will elevate your deck if you do that. Um, but what do you think? What do you guys think about it? I absolutely adore them. I'm excited. I know I'm going to beat them up because I'm going to use them ferociously <laughs> and a lot, but yeah, they're just, they're unique. They're fun. They make sense for the characters. They make sense for the show. Um, it's just, it's quirky. It's different. It's fun. And it is definitely one of those decks that you can use around a lot of different people because most of us have grown up with the Golden Girls as a show. And even young, young generations now, like we're talking below 10 years old, love the Golden Girls now. I don't know why it's a thing. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm just saying with the reruns and Hulu and all of that stuff, People know about the Golden Girls. It's becoming, uh, there's a resurgence of it now and I couldn't be happier about it. So um, this is a deck that you can use around many different people and they'll understand what the cards mean just by laying them out, which is fantastic. You're not gonna scare anybody away. The Death and the Devil card were adorable. So this is definitely one of those decks that you can take around your um, skittish family and friends and uh, you know it's basically super super cute and um, wouldn't scare a fly so i'm excited i'm very very much excited to jump into and use these i just want to know what you guys think and let me know down in the comments if you own this if you're going to purchase it if you um, have it on your wish list what do you think about it i would love to know if you guys share my excitement all right, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really do appreciate it. I have fun doing these. Again, I will link everywhere I know down in the description box of where to purchase this said deck. And I am not sponsored or paid for it. I just really love collecting and sharing with you so that way you know what you're purchasing. All right, everybody have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay happy, healthy, and stay safe. Bye-bye.